Hi, Yellow Max. Why are your eyes red? Have you been drinking my alcohol again? You know you're not supposed to touch that stuff. Say something. Don't make me deflate you. Yellow Max. Say something. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Baymax, the adapted series or the series following on from the movie Big Hero 6 or Baymax, depending on which part of the world you hail from. Here to talk about it, non-spoiler, obviously, there are six episodes for you to chew on, very short episodes. Is it actually any good? Let's talk about it. So in the six episodes of Baymax that range from about 10 to 11 minutes, there comes a point when you reach the credit point of each epi episode, except for the last episode, episode six, that the credits start rolling. Now, this is my top tip, because I think a lot of people will just switch off. There's actually a little end credit scene, but it's not end credits, like middle credit scene where you get to see a uh, hero interact with Baymax at the end of the day when Baymax has kind of dealt with his shenanigans. So my top tip is to wait and listen and well listen and watch to see them interact together because you don't get to see them interact a lot together until the arc of the story uh, kicks in and you don't think there is an arc except for the last two episodes and it comes to fruition at the end. So I was very impressed with this series, namely because there was an arc, because of those 10, 11 minute uh, episodes, you think, okay, there's going to be that classic, like what uh, Up did with Doug, you know, little kind of skit moments where we see our characters interact with each other and enjoy that. And that would have been fine as well, because each episode starts with a sort of theme and a character that actually hits a lot deeper than I was expecting. There are emotional moments for these, and I was just really impressed with the themes that they were wanting to tackle. So where some of these animated series can be for the young generation only, and kind of adults watch to kind of see what their kids are watching. Baymax, if you watch the original, was kind of a whole family event. Um, and this time around, it's the same thing, but also manages to kind of raise the bar a little bit with the themes that are tackling and you'll know what I mean when you get into it. I don't want to do any spoilers but I was very impressed with the emotionality, what they were willing to tackle uh, and kind of just really going for it but it still keeps at the heart of Baymax. Baymax is a, a medical helper and he is trying to help everybody so from the first episode he's trying to help an, an elderly woman and you get where Baymax is helping um, Hero's mom. There's this line where the elderly woman is acting as if she were Baymax and she's basically saying hi I'm Baymax I'm gonna make you face your deepest fears and that's kind of what he does to help you better yourselves and it's fantastically done the animation again is spot on just great I don't think it's like any worse than the film probably better on because they've had a few years at the the Baymax film or Big Hero 6 is a few years old now so the animation has come a little way and it looks fantastic crisp the the score everything works well the voice work all of that comes together, but at the heart of it is these deep themes. It's way deeper than I was expecting. And I was like, huh, where are they going with this? And then you hit episode five and six. And I'm annoyed that it's a short series because I was really enjoying what they were doing with this. However, those little bits of those characters that you meet through episodes one and four come together, these lives that Baymax have influence, and they end up helping him for episode five and six. That's that's the least bit kind of skirting around uh, what I can do. I really hope we do more of this and this is uh, very well sought after. People enjoy this, it, it gets an audience because I think this was one of their better animated series that come from a movie. Sometimes it can have a little feeling like they're, they're uh, I guess they're speaking to one demographic of a very young demographic. This one I think is gonna have a wide appeal from adults to teens and it's gonna hit hard in some of those emotional moments. Not, you know, they, they can't go that deep because it's 11 minutes, but it's way deeper than I was expecting. And then you have the fun animation. I burst out laughing a few times during the episodes because genuinely funny moments. One of my favorite episodes is dealing with a cat. Just great moments throughout with tight animation, quick storyline, but actually still has heart. Uh, definitely uh, worth a watch. I'm going to give this four Nicolas Cages out of five. Let me know what you think about the film and what do you think about the series in, I guess, context to that film. I would have liked more with Hero. We don't get that much with him. This is more about Baymax interacting with his community around living with Hero. 
Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.